G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw the new skin Brainiac in Fortnite. Make sure, as always, you watch the whole video because I've got some cool tricks for you today. You're going to need a pencil, paper, an eraser, and a sharpie to go over your sketch with. Let's go! Let's get started. But first, if you want to learn the fast and easy way, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. Let's begin! Okay, as always, let's start with the head. So, just with your pencil, let's start from the very top. Just light strokes to build, kind of like a balloon shape, but let's flatten out the bottom a little bit. This character's got quite a strong jawline, so we don't want to make the bottom too pointy, but we don't want to make it too flat either. So do your best to just do a curve that kind of goes down a little bit. So I'll just start again from the top, bring it round. I guess it looks a little bit like a, like a jar that's upside down, maybe? But um, just try and get that bottom not quite flat, just curving down a little bit. And then we'll just draw a line straight down the middle so that we know where the middle of the head is. It's kind of like a line of symmetry. Now let's just continue that line down a bit. This is going to show us where the middle of the character is. And we get to about the same sort of height as the head, so imagine just another head here. We're going to draw a line across. And then from each side of this line, we're going to draw a line that curves down like this. These are the legs. And then when we reach the bottom of these curving lines, just a line that goes straight out. That's going to be the bottom of the foot. You might want to draw the line all the way across like that so that you can kind of get the same level for the bottoms of the feet. Okay, so make sure they're kind of level. It'll look a bit better. Right, let's go back to the head. So I always like to start with the eyes. So let's draw some tall ovals for the eyes as always like that either side of our line in the middle just like that doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go over this with a pen later so any anything we don't like we can just kind of rub out later but just kind of get that loose guideline in now we're just going to draw a diagonal line across it like that going up from the uh, from the inside out so we're giving him kind of a, an angry look, and then here's the pupils, just a curve that comes like that. Okay, just kind of like a J shape and a backwards J shape on the other side. Now for the nose, now the nose is going to sit in this area here, but not that kind of shape. <laughs> Looks a bit like a clown. So let's just start here, and it's quite tricky this. Come out a little bit, but then come back in, then curve down, much like you did with the bottom of the head, and then bulge out one more time and we get this kind of thick shape for a nose okay it's quite tricky to do might take you a few tries but keep at it you'll get it and now a mouth just gonna do a slight smile to do that you just draw a, a straight line and then curve it up at the ends it's kind of like a, a scheming sort of smile let's just stick some ears on either side of the head it's just a little kind of semicircle shape don't make them too big and now for the hair. The hair's really, really interesting on this character. It's kind of spiky and short. I really like drawing it. The best way to draw it is to start with one of the ears. So let's start with this one. So I'm just going to come up from kind of the middle of that ear. And then I'm just going to kind of draw a jagged pattern that points towards the eyes. Okay? And when I get to about here, those jagged patterns are going to get a bit bigger. Like big kind of spiky chunks. And don't worry about going over the, some of the lines we've drawn. That's fine. Some overlap can actually look quite good. Let's just try and draw in that kind of spiky wavy shape until you get to the other side of the head and we're just going to draw that jagged pattern again for his sideburns and then finish where you started more or less but on the other side now just for the rest of the head because uh, his head looks a little bit flat up here doesn't it so I'm just going to add a few more spikes of hair don't go too far out his hair is very short so I'm just drawing little spikes coming off there okay nothing too fancy so that's our head pretty much done actually already. Um, I, th I think he's got a little mark in here and he's got a little marking up here somewhere in his face. But other than that, yeah, I'd say we're done with the heads. Let's move on to the neck. So the neck is just a semicircle coming out from underneath the chin across our line of symmetry there. And now this is a good time to draw the neckerchief. He's wearing a really big scarf kind of thing. So let's start here. Let's draw out and then curve in. But we're not done yet. We're going to start here, draw out, 
and then curve in and we get to the middle just teardrop it down a bit like that okay now we're not going to make it completely symmetrical uh, symmetrical because it'll look a bit odd so I'm actually gonna do a different kind of curve out like this and I'm just gonna stop more or less where I'm gonna put the arm I'm gonna start back up here curve out and then in and what that curving out and in does it gives us the impression that it's wrinkled I can actually put one here along the neck like that do you see so it looks like a cloth that's kind of folded it looks really cool so I'm just going to finish off by joining up my lines here. Don't worry if it looks a bit uneven. If you see that it looks a bit uneven, like mine's a bit uneven here, you know, a bit thick on this side compared to that side, that's fine. Um, we might correct that when we go over it with a Sharpie later. But for now, let's just carry on with the sketch. So I'm going to start about here. I'm going to draw a straight line that goes down, okay? And gets to this point where the leg meets the hip. I'm just going to do the same for the other side. We're just going to leave the torso for now. I'd like to get onto the, the arms, actually. I'd like to get the arms out of the way. I'd like to work from, from top down. So starting here, a curving line. This is just uh, the middle of the arm. It's going to look like he's got some very skinny arms now, but just some curving lines going down. And then a line across the end of each arm. Now, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the hand I'm about to draw a little bit better. So, I'm going to start drawing here. So starting at the end of this line that we drew, just going to curve out for a thumb. And it's going to be a closed fist, so the thumb doesn't come out too much. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw three knuckles. Okay, it's a cartoon character, so you can have three fingers if you want them to. So you see that's just three kind of bumps that come out like this. Okay, it doesn't have to be anything too complicated. And there's a patch on the back of his hand. There's also a band for his glove here and now let's just draw a light line that comes along here and one that comes along here this is going to be really useful for drawing the details onto the arm this is actually a really detailed arm so get ready to concentrate because there's some uh, there's some details to take down here so here just going across here there's a band okay so let's just draw a, a, a narrow kind of line and then Okay, these are straps that kind of tie it into place. Okay, and now here he's got kind of like an arm guard on. So we'll draw another curve over the arm. Try and picture the arm like a 3D object. It'll make you get that curve really well. Just try and have that picture in your head. And there's a rectangle here with like a control panel on it. And there's another rectangle here. Okay. Now the other arm, just going to move this across a bit, the other arm's a bit easier. Um, there's not actually any fancy details on it other than some spots up near the shoulder, so we're actually just going to go right ahead and draw the curve following the original guideline we drew. Now the band for the glove. Okay, so we're just kind of doing the same thing but on the other side. So now we're doing that closed thumb again. And then a closed knuckle. One, two, three. And as you draw your third one, bring it da back down to the wrist. There's also the same kind of guard on the back of the hand here. Now those spots I was talking about, let's draw those in now. So it's just like a few unevenly shaped and sized spots up in the shoulder, okay? Try and make one bigger than the other two. And uh, that'll generally come out quite interesting looking. Now let's go back to the torso. The torso's got some interesting shapes on it. I'm actually going to start here. There's, there's like a satchel here. So all you have to do here is just draw a rectangle. Simple as that. When you've finished drawing the rectangle, just draw a line, more or less meeting with the hip there. That's going to be where the satchel opens up. And that's pretty much done there. Let's draw his uh, his shoulder strap. We're going to start from underneath the neckerchief, and it wraps around his waist. Let's just draw the other part of it coming up, and it goes under the neckerchief. The neckerchief is sat on top of it. Then there's like a guard here. Okay, just a couple of lines, that's all it is. And then there's a pocket on this side of his torso, it's just a square. So I'm just going to draw a square on that side. And again, just like we did with the satchel, we're going to draw kind of like a lid. Okay. Alright, one more detail on the torso, just underneath this strap. There's a couple of blue... I don't really know what they are, tassels? Tickets? I don't really know what they are. But there's just a couple of things here, so just draw those in real quick. Now let's go and throw on some uh, belts. 
So just a line going across here to the other side. He's wearing two belts like a lot of Fortnite characters, and the belt on top is a little bit taller than the belt below it. Okay. Now I'm just going to move this down a little bit so we can see the uh, see the legs. Okay. So this guideline is going to be really useful because it's going to give us the idea of the shape of the legs we want to draw. So I'm just going to, like I did with the arms, just follow it around. Don't worry too much about lines we're going to rub out in a bit and then follow this back up. I'm going to come out a little bit when I get to here just so I can draw a line across that separates the torso from the legs. I'm actually going to do the same on the other side, okay? So it's, so it's drifting a little bit away from our guideline, but that's okay. It is only a guideline. And then starting up here, just going to draw the rest of the leg. So all I'm doing now, all I'm doing is I'm thickening out the legs and getting the kind of shape for the legs I want. Okay, so we're actually going to ignore this line in the middle now. We don't really need this anymore. If you want, you can rub that out now. I'm going to keep mine there just because I, I like to see my work as I go along. And just to finish off these legs, just coming from here, I'm just going to draw kind of a wedge shape, almost like a door stop wait, where sh shape, sorry, door stop, uh, just for the feet. Okay, so just going to there. All right, let's get the tricky part out of the way first. Every Fortnite character is wearing shin guards, so let's draw that shin guard. So about where the knee is, because that's where it starts, we're going to draw a straight line across, not too far, just about there, and it sticks out a little bit and comes back in like this. So it almost looks a bit like an arrow or a, or a chevron, like you see on the road. Okay, that's the top of the shin guard, and then all you have to do is bring a line down to about the top of where the foot starts and make sure it meets up here. Okay, so I'm going to do that again on the other side just to demonstrate what I mean. So I'm going to start here. So a straight line across, just drawing in a chevron. This is a very reg uh, rigid shape, so try and keep your lanes, your lanes, your lines, I can't talk today, keep your lines quite straight for that. Okay, don't make them too bendy there. Now, there's a few straps going across this shin guard, so let's draw those in now. So I'm going to start from the front of the shin guard, and I'm going to bring a strap around to the back of his leg. And then just thicken it out to come across like that. And I'm going to draw another one that comes out from underneath this strap, and curves up behind his leg. And that gives us a really good sense of kind of 3D there. If you just curve that up and imagine it's going around the back of his leg like this, that looks really cool, I think. And there's a couple more straps up here around his thigh. So let's draw those in. Okay, they're just kind of like narrow belts, okay? Just kind of think of them as thin belts. And one more here. Now, we're almost at the end, don't worry. Tough out this last bit. There's a lot of funny shapes here, but stick with me. I know you can do it. We're just going to draw in the sole of his shoe. Okay, if you want to, make the bottom of it a bit bumpy, like this. Because uh, these shoes have got to have, got to have uh, good grip going up all those hills. Okay. Right, now let's move on to the other leg over here. So, there is actually a pocket sticking out here. So I'm just going to draw the lid, because the pocket's on the side of the leg as opposed to, like, on the front of it. So I'm just going to draw it like that. See, so there's a very, very thin lid here, and this is the rest of the pocket. Now there's a strap holding this shin pad in place. Okay. Ah, one more detail before I forget. He is wearing boots. Those boots need to start somewhere, and I've not drawn it yet, so let's draw it now. So starting about here, where these lines meet, just draw a line across for the top of the boot. I'm going to do the same on this side. There we go. Almost forgot a key detail there, otherwise he's running around in his socks, and we don't want that. So there's a patch here. He's obviously ripped his clothes at some point, but sewn a little patch on to cover it up. So just draw a square and some lines along the side, like that, and you get a really cool looking patch really, really easily. There's just a fold here, and there's a rip in his jeans here. There's a couple of rips there, actually. Let's add a couple. Ah, something else I've forgotten, not me. I've forgotten some uh, some buckles on his belts. Let's just look back at the belt for a second. Okay, you see we've just got a plain belt here, but there's no buckle. So just quickly, draw in a couple of lines like that. Maybe a smaller one underneath. And then either side, I'm just going to draw a really narrow kind of belt loop 
on each one, okay? Nice and easy, just straight lines. Just makes it look a whole lot better. Now we're almost done, just need to finish off this shoe down here, really. There's a sole, again, on this side of the shoe. Again, I'm just going to draw some bumps underneath it. All I'm drawing is almost like a square zigzag shape, so that's quite easy to do. And now finally, we've just got some guards over the top of his shoes. They're going to be here and here, okay? So to draw that, we're just going to draw kind of like a rectangle lying on its side. Like that, okay? And it just kind of sits on top of the shoe, guarding his foot, and just in front of the shin pad. So there's a lot of overlapping lines here, but you can see the lines we want to keep. So for example, we don't want to keep this line, because that's underneath the shin pad, okay? So what we need to do now, I'm just going to zoom out so we can see the whole drawing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over my drawing with a sharpie. Uh, I'm going to ignore the lines I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep this one because it's just a guideline, or this one, that's a guideline, uh, that's a guideline. Ignore all the guidelines, uh, and we'll have a look at how our drawings look once we've inked them. And there we go. Go over your sketch with a sharpie and make sure you ignore the lines you don't want to keep. Just go over the lines you want to keep. And you should end up with something like this. Now, I've got a question for you guys before you go today. In Fortnite, what Halloween skin are you looking forward to the most? Sorry, Fort Nightmare, I should say. Which skin are you looking forward to the most? Because I know what my answer to that question is, and I might reveal it uh, next episode. For now, guys, if you want to continue to learn the quick and easy way, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming for you guys. For now, see you next time.